want a milk tea. Let's go get one after training. about this I don't think so oh, that's enough training for today
Another step closer to Star Creek. Another step closer to star crazing glass great sword. Not the best idea. Today? According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready!
another new move under my belt. I gotta find time to try it out. second test. According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready.
Another new move under my belt. Let's do this. Closer to star crazing glass great sword. I'll fight ten. Uh, how should I go about this? Wonderful.
Another step closer to star crazing glass great sword. Find time to try it out. What did I really just learn that? I guess I am pretty awesome after all. Before we start the test. The final test. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, come on, March 7th. You got this. Let's 
do it. I already have an idea. I remember Yen Ching once said, do you feel any closer? Ah, oh, yes, absolutely. to duel with Scott, but I always feel like my fighting skills haven't improved enough. Can I really defeat Scott? Oh, I'm starting to worry. I mean, don't you have some miracle pills that can instantly unlock my uh, meridians? Boost my cultivation and make me a super strong hero? You know, the kind where you just pop one and instantly become an invincible sword master. Uh, hey! Uh, don't say something like that in front of these healers! I don't want to end up in some realm-keeping commission court! Well, even though it's a risky idea, I'm glad you're finally willing to do whatever it takes to win, Miss March. Uh, hey, that's actually a compliment I don't want to hear. We don't have any convenient pills like that. But if you just need a temporary boost for the duel, we might be able to figure something out. I've made a bowl of Matsutake Longan white bamboo sparrow soup for you, Miss March. It's nourishing and will give you a good energy boost. Hey now! This tonic is very potent. If you don't engage in any intense physical activity, it might do more harm than good. Can I drink half now and save the other half for later? Just in case Scott beats me, I can use it to recover. Are you really that lacking in confidence, Marge? Uh, I was actually looking forward to tripling the fee when the IPC guys came in for treatment. You don't know the half of it. Those IPC mechs pack a huge punch. <sighs> if it's just pain you're afraid of, I might have a solution. Here, this medicine is named Yabra. A tiny dose can numb the body senses and alleviate any sensation of pain. Actually, some of the Cloud Knights use pellets which contain trace amounts of this ingredient. When you block pain on the battlefield, you have a better chance of beating your opponent and surviving. Whoa, sounds incredible! But are there any side effects? No, not at all. We use it for surgeries in the Alchemy Commission. So what kind of side effects could it possibly have? It's just... Uh, just what? Well, the thing is, pain is your body's way of warning you something is wrong. If you ignore it and push through, you might end up with some serious injuries without even realizing it. I had a patient who took some before a fight, only to realize that afterwards, his lower body was missing. Uh, okay, enough. I'm not taking any medicine. I'll just tough it out. We're all brainstorming ideas. Why are you so quiet, Dr. Jiaochiu? Dr. Jiaochiu. Jiaochiu! March is about to face off with Scott. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. I heard March was planning to use some medicine against Scott, so I made some preparations. Well, it seems you're struggling to think outside the box. Sometimes, weakening your opponent is just as effective as improving your own combat skills. It's all about innovation. Oh, wait. Could it be that the Yao Qing people have some secret formula that could help me? Exactly. This is the closely guarded secret of the Yao Qing's Rancha school. If it weren't for Miss March's upcoming battle, I would never divulge it. Wait. How did you figure that out? <sighs> Looks like I'm too predictable. Seriously, don't even compare this guy to us. Well, Dr. Chow Cho, are we really doing this? Shouldn't we defeat him in a more honorable way? Uh, maybe we should just completely forget about this idea. Huh? You don't agree with my methods? Mm, but it's already too late. Moza has already taken care of things. Wait, so while you seem to be playing with your phone, you were actually arranging things with Moza? Are all Yao Qing people as quick as you? All right, it's time for the duel. Just go fight that Scott guy. I've got something else to do, so I'll be off. Uh, he ran away! 
What should I do now? What's done is done, March. We just have to keep moving forward. Rest assured, we will come to Scott's aid if needed. Let's hope he's all right. Let's go. Ah, March 7th. You finally decided to show up. Bet you don't know how incredibly unpopular you are here in Aurum Alley. <sighs> unpopular? What are you talking about? Who in our room alley wouldn't like a cheerful and adorable young lady like me? Oh, I've caught wind of the gossip. They're just scared of Yang Ching and Yun Li's power, so they don't have the guts to speak up. Guess what? A brave soul approached me in secret earlier, encouraging me to defeat you and seek revenge for all the people in our room alley. And you know what else? He gave me and the guys a big pot of his special medicinal soup to drink, so we can come at you with triple the energy! Uh, <laughs> well, they do sound like a brave soul. Of course we did! That soup was surprisingly delicious! Who'd have thought, in a cold and indifferent place like the La Fu, we'd find something so heartwarming? All right, enough talking. Let's go, boys. That delicious medicinal soup will give us the strength to win. Uh, don't push yourself too hard. Uh, just leave if you can't handle it. Spare me your fake concern. Hello? My stomach hurts. What's happening? Mine hurts too. Could it be that something was wrong with that stew? Oh, bio shit! Oh, not good! I think last night's dinner's about to make a grand exit! I uh, gotta go to the bathroom! See ya! Stop there! Don't you dare run away! Sorry, but I can't hold it any longer! I really, really... Spare me the detail! Just get out of here! I'm seeing things. The Astral Express is racing away. Curse Astral Express. You're not allowed to leave. I am defeated. You fight too dirty, March 7th. You are truly despicable. Oh, you'd better go to the bathroom. No. I don't need to go to the bathroom anymore. Ooh. <clears throat> uh, let's just uh, forget about that part. He's already in such a, a sorry state. I have one last thing to say, March 7th. Uh, fine, give me a piece of your mind if you want. I admit it, I was kind of out of line. You've earned my respect. Wait, what? March 7th, you're the first person I've ever known who's just as despicable, cruel, and as heartless as me. But this time, you outdid yourself, being even more vile. More ruthless, and more unscrupulous than ever! I accept my defeat. Maybe we'll actually become real friends someday. If you want to come and work for the IPC, I'll gladly write you a recommendation letter. Uh, 
Your compliments make me so mad. Can I give him another beating while he's down? Go for it. I uh, don't have the strength to fight back anyway. Ah, uh, forget it. I don't kick people when they're down, even if they annoy me. Guys, fellas, anyone else who can still move? Help me! Miss March, maybe we should try something more honorable next time. It wasn't my idea. It was all that pink-haired fox acting on his own. All I did was, well, kind of engage in free-form sword fighting. with my brain. <laughs> <laughs>